Let's just help us. They're fixing up the, the lemon house. getting up there. Right here. Mule shoe curve. Lesser known than horseshoe curve. This is near the Allegheny Portage Railroad. It inclines to 1 to 10. Old US 22 goes underneath this bridge I'm best to walk onto. Holidaysburg is to my left. Or no, Holidaysburg is to my right, excuse me. And Crescent is to my left. That way to Hollidaysburg, Duncansville. And you can just see in the tree line right there, that's one of the inclines, the Allegheny Forge Railroad. That is old US 22. I'm on the Mule Shoe Bridge. That is going toward Crescent. Oops. Watch my step. Nice little crick. Stream. That's nice. Yeah, that is direction west, east. Yeah, west on Old US 22. Very pretty in the fall time. Very nice lights. That would take you toward New 22 and the Glitz and Tunnels because it would wrap around the hill 
and then swoop across through another hill going that way to the Glitzen Tunnels. That's what the Pennsylvania Railroad used. Okay, facing back to where I came from. Very nice wooded area. Very pretty in the fall, I am sure. The 6 to 10, I believe. If I can trail, I can't even remember. <laughs> um, you can walk the inclined trails or inclined planes. Uh, there's access points where you can park and walk. It is very worth it if you like nature walks. Or just spending time away from work, school, or anything. Okay. Allegheny Portage Railroad lasted only approximately 20 years. It was a way to get over the mountains in the area, the Valley Mountains. It was a canal connection between Philadelphia, Harrisburg to Pittsburgh. The state paid for it. The only problem they had with it is that in the winter time, you cannot send shipments east or west, or passengers, too. Shortly after the Pennsylvania Railroad came through, created Horseshoe Curve, founded Altoona, the canal ended, and Pennsylvania Railroad bought the canal way for seven million dollars, I think, at one time. And they realigned some of their trackage on the Portage Railroad. Very interesting railroad. That's it. You can still see ballast rock on that bridge back there. It's underneath all the dirt.
Where was who who went out about two minutes? Yellow? It would be right about up here. Well somewhere up here because A B F and then A Dewey pile is up there. There's a Dewey, there's Rice. So Rice moved in. You got those, I think that's like crust. You still got those coupons for these guys. matches. Oh, they even have a, a go-kart. This is Duncansville. There are tracks open right behind these houses under the bridge. I see what Edward's got today, Will. <laughs> I like that Volvo. That's a pretty truck. Uh, they moved their horseshoe curve, historical society one. Look at that car. That's an old Lackawanna MU car, or electric car. They moved their caboose. They're fixing this, this car up now, Will. They're probably in the building. Yeah. Because if the door is not open on weekends. Uh, what? The envelope factory people are not there. They probably don't work on weekends. That goes to Holidaysburg, where the car shops used to be. 